Hello guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Um, time is pretty late, 1.08. Winter finally started in Bangladesh for the last two days. Very happy about it. We're getting around like 18 degrees. You must laugh, <laughs> you know. Uh, you may be laughing like, hey, that's not winter. That's just uh, our minor summers, you know. But in Bangladesh nowadays, we don't get that much of winter. So winter, whenever it's here, even if it's very late, mid-December, I'm pretty happy, right? So I'm going to be doing a long video. So that's why I'm doing just the one video today. Brace yourself for uh, that. If you don't want to watch the whole video, what you can do is you can just uh, see the list in the description box and you find your content, okay? But I do this for people who like to hear stories and my take, okay? Today we'll be talking about the house of Calvin Klein, the great house of Calvin Klein. I do love this house as, as much as I love something like a house like Hugo Boss, Lacoste. You know, many of the houses people say, hey, they are just mediocre house at best. You know, they don't do anything great. They have like all these cheap fragrances. I understand Calvin Klein does have huge fragrance under there credit okay so let me do a little bit of introduction i have 15 fragrances plus one honorable mention and i do not have many other fragrances that i used to own once some of the fragrance i didn't buy or finished something like that so fragrances like uh, like if you're looking for it let's say ck escape for him or her ck free okay like the flankers liquid gold you know uh, the was the line euphoria line then the amber i think yeah amber gold okay then obsession women uh secret obsession i reviewed these fragrance i don't have them eternity you know that whole line of eternity with the edt edp perfume aqua you know summers you know they have plenty i mean i don't know how many intense night summer i wrote them down with my horrible handwriting that's not showing they have other fragrance like ck everyone ck one which i'm not showing today is the one that started them the business right and then ck into you summers ckb obsessed ck1 uh, reflections i think ck encounter encounter fresh such fragrances i don't have or i did not feature today so if you're looking for them they are still great fragrance i have few more uh, like ck i think there's one fragrance ck into you i don't have that here today as well but i own it right so let's go the honorable mention which is the most rare item here okay um, if you are attached to this house, if you have good memories of your school back in the days, I believe you'll find this uh, review uh, emotional, okay? This is called Calvin Klein Crave. I know about this fragrance from my favorite reviewer, Steven, from her, the channel called Red Essence. This guy is one of our, uh, you know, founding members of fragrance community and one of the finest gentlemen, really, really well-spoken and uh, very everything is just top-notch in his work. Um, I bought many fragrances, uh, you know, based on his reviews. This is one I luckily found in one vintage shop, okay? These things are super rare to find, okay? The bottle is actually inside. I reviewed this. Check it out. So this fragrance basically has this star star fruit. No, no. Starfish note and then some spices, some woodiness. I think it's a weird combination of a freshie, okay? Um, this, this kind of fragrance you will not find anymore, anywhere. Um, sometimes it can be a bit too old school and I think it will be dated for today's scenario. But I think this one, if you do love, I think Costa Sura or something, one of those Tom Ford fragrances that this one, uh, Stephen found similar to. So this I'm just putting as honorable mentions because this is super impossible to find. This thing can pick you up three, four hundred bucks if you have it. Okay. So try selling it in Amazon. Amazing packaging from back in the days. This is the way I remember 90s okay so now let's hit top 15 remember these are my choices you can feel differently about them and i give props to chad as well he loves this kind of houses from canada he is one of my mentors i love this guy he is just a underappreciated fragrance reviewer who did uh, huge work for the community i just want to say thanks to chad uh, you are the man you know as much as mark steven max fortis uh, jeremy you are one of the biggest youtube reviewers for me and i'll always love you okay so this is one of his favorites i'll start with number 15 is this fragrance called calvin klein uh, i think this is called truth if you can see yeah truth so got this beautiful green juice mild green juice Rem reminds me of gucci guilty cologne so this one has an interesting bottle built-in atomizer really nice okay okay really nice so when I smell this, this is very nice, fresh, uh, green, spicy, sort of like a foresty kind of a smell. If you stand it like this, it's, it stays like slanted like that, right? So it's not like a masterpiece or anything. It's just a soothing fragrance like Daniel Fresh. Reminds me of a few of the other fragrances which are green. It's a very, very nice uh, 
calming sort of fragrance okay like like it will help you relax okay that kind of a fragrance i really love this uh, you can give it a try one of the underrated fragrance for house of sike sike truth those who are collecting for a very long time they can find this fragrance uh, perhaps relatable okay or maybe it's in your collection still <clears throat> number 14 is another fragrance i really like there's one for women one for men this is the men's one this is called sike contradiction for him so i don't know where it says you know <laughs> the bottle is just pretty awesome okay if i open it uh, that's how that looks okay pretty cool i think burberry sport had this kind of bottle so this fragrance is kind of like aromatic spicy masculine fragrance for uh mild cold weather just like secret truth that one you can wear for all year but this one i would say it would be really good for early days of fall amazing underrated fragrance perhaps it doesn't have tobacco i don't remember but very nice masculine perfume still affordable just sprayed once on me man the experience you just have to smell this perfume there's just nothing like this in the market and if you can find it i don't know if it's discontinued you should give it a try yeah the name is here i missed out on it it's at the base it says ck contradiction for men i have reviewed all these fragrances please check them out okay that's number 14. number 13. this fragrance i understand i thought at first it's discontinued but no they re repackaged it and re-released it so i really like this that i have the vintage bottle this is called simply calvin klein man and i know many people love this bottle this one literally feels like retro okay look at that packaging it reminds me of video tapes video cassettes if those some of you are not even born in that era let's say our university days you know uh, they used to have this you know movie uh, weekend or something like that they used to play in library we used to watch some really great films you know so this reminds me of those books and then you know black and white era as well we, we have lived in the era in the 80s right really really nice calvin klein man it has a lot of violet leaves very beautiful and i would say it's a more wearable version of fahrenheit if you love ferraris vomo this is also a great fragrance like that but it has its own plus really nice for fall so calvin klein does have many more than summer freshies okay so next one is number i think 12 12 number 12 yes yeah, <laughs> sorry so i don't really have that many from the eternity line i picked one okay and it's a shame because i really want to appreciate eternity you know many of you love the eternity now eternity uh intense eternity, many eternities the edp they're really really good vetiver this and that but eternity wise my favorite remains this one you know for some reason eternity for men flame very underrated juice has this fiery sort of like a red flame sort of a theme uh, some of you know that versace eros flame you know some of the other like a downhill icon racing they have a red one so red is kind of like a trend and it's trending so this fragrance is a little bit different it's kind of has that boozy not really whiskey i don't know what booze but has some warmth amber some spices very nice fragrance once again for the months of november and december really good performance on that okay eternity bottles are kind of cheap looking it's really retro i don't really like those bottles but this juice is good and they're affordable okay <clears throat> then number 11 then you hit top 10 always remember this is my list according to my order you don't have to love them the same you can love them more or less up to you okay number 11 is this one obsession line i featured all the fragrance because i love this line obsession there was also original one which i'll show you in a bit they also have obsession for women secret obsession try those fragrance out those are pretty unisex you can wear them um these are great but obsession night for men i believe is discontinued uh this is the shiny bottle and uh, this fragrance some people call it similar to black orchid i find it more wearable black orchid and it has its own thing going it's not as spicy but it's definitely mysterious night time you can give it a try really good longevity obsession night for men okay now top 10 top 10 i'll start with the fragrance now is discontinued very expensive now it used to be available nobody bought it okay you can find 150 ml version get it if you can get it for a good price this is called ck2 this is the last remaining bottle that i have after this i don't know if i can find another one this is one of the most beautiful looking bottles calvin klein ever made i give them props i'll show you something if you haven't seen one of these you can also make the bottle stand like that it looks like a water dispenser right so you can take it out or you can put it back very transparent watery that's how they went with it when i bought it at first i did not smell anything on this okay i felt like this fragrance is nothing it's just like this a gimmicky pebble note and this is a little bit for rose nothing much going sandalwood guess what try again 
on a very sunny warm day by the swimming pool where they have this very hot tiles and then you can see the blue you know swimming pool and the water blue skies this fragrance will be fantastic beautiful longevity and i think it can be compared to lelabo santo 33 a little bit i don't know for what reason but really uh, one of the best ck ever made just that you need right mood to wear it it's good for summer only next one we're talking about the second obsession this fragrance man i'm so sorry the bottle is a little bit wounded or damaged this is called dark obsession for men it's not to be mistaken with obsession night i collected both okay and the bottle is not in pristine condition because i keep it with other bottles it gets scratches the paint comes off i think i have to uh, cannot restore but i can keep it in a you know better condition so dark obsession here here you go this is super beautiful okay this is super beautiful because this one has the cacao okay cacao means chocolatey amazing amazing juice okay uh, so many people don't know about these lines people go search for latest fragrance based pay thousands of dollars hundreds of dollars this thing back in the days costed like 30 35 bucks okay okay here is the big thing if you do not know if you love last and Guerlain by Guerlain Lige extreme version get that okay I think this is gonna be easier to find than uh, Coco Rico by Jean Paul and going much cheaper okay of course not the same but definitely has the quality sweeter cacao okay amazing amazing chocolatey fragrance for nighttime and I just love the font on this beautiful bottle Dark Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. Okay, let me pause a little bit. All right, I'm back. Sorry, a little bit. I need to hydrate. I have my huge water bottle always with me. I keep drinking all day, right? So, hope it's okay with you. Okay, so now uh, I think the next one is going to be from the Euphoria line. I used to own Euphoria Liquid Gold. I sold it off. I had the Amber Gold. And I think I did some of the women's one from Euphoria line, original Euphoria, and then this one euphoria intense for him there are many versions of it many um flanker to this uh but uh, i think old souls like us appreciate it i recall my brother carlos he loves it he said i forgot the note that he talked about is it patchouli or something in it driftwood i don't know what's in it but just a very sexy sweet embery to my nose a little bit of a fig leaf sort of i don't know uh, but it's a nice bottle but a bit tacky because these are Cheap plastic but i just for some reason i rate it so highly because i enjoy the smell short-lived but i enjoy this fragrance in evening time especially in mild cold weathers gives me like this in three to four hours intense euphoria man by calvin klein definitely one of their best creation i just love that fragrance okay do try that next one uh i have a lot of the ck1 <laughs> in my list uh, this here comes the first one this is my favorite ck1 gold liquid gold i think or gold I think I forgot the name. Maybe CK1 Gold only. Okay. Uh, this perfume, I was part of it when this was launched in 2015 or 16. And another special thing about this fragrance is the face for this fragrance, the model rather, is sister of Ashton, if you know Jensen's. That time, Jensen's, I think he started right after me or alongside me. I don't remember, right? So we are pretty much from the same time frame. And I actually am friends with Ashton. Like we used to talk a lot. Nowadays, not much, but then. You know, I consider him as my good friend in community. This guy is one of the best influencers right now. And I just love his channel content all the time. Very, very uh, goofy. <laughs> and he has great taste, great uh, spectrum of uh, fragrance choices. So CK1 Gold, basically, when this was launched, I saw it in a mall in Penang. Penang is in Malaysia. So when it was launched, I saw it coming out all this beautiful, you know, when they would put a podium and, you know, like a huge marketing. I saw this bottle. And they were not asking for like a lot of money it was going for 200 ringgit or 220 ringgit so i wanted to get it but i for some reason didn't get it later i got it man what a beautiful bottle one thing second thing is there's a fig note and there's a beautiful they say oud but not really oudi wood this is a unisex perfume you cannot get this anymore discontinued i bought a few days back a 200 ml and i gifted it to my mom she loves it okay so really good longevity from this compared to other ck ones but this is one of my favorites check out my review ck1 gold i think you will love this fragrance if you can wear it uh, kind of has this unisex vibe now number six then we hit top five number six is a special fragrance you cannot find this for cheap no more two three hundred bucks at least this ck1 summer 2014 again i remember uh when i talked about ck crave I also remember Stephen when I talk about CK1 summer 2014, especially this one. I went crazy. I went Kelsisi, Surya Kelsisi in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. And I looked for this fragrance. I bought like 2015 version, but I could not find this because once this is gone, 
each year they will be up in only amazon and ebay and people be sell selling them instead of 20 25 dollars this will be going through 200 bucks because uh, some of the um, collectors okay they are paying a lot of prices for these fragrances they have been making this for many many years right so this one has the tequila note amazing amazing fragrance my mood lifter for summer thank you so much Ovik Bai, for gifting me this top five let's go with the big boys number five is ck obsession for him uh, i just am very proud i always own a 200 ml of my favorite fragrances and this is one of the best ck ever made why is not number one maybe because modern times i use many other fragrances uh, maybe I changed my mind, but this is in my top five always, okay? A spicy, uh, kind of like a leatherish vibe I get. It's a spicy masculine fragrance, you know, and it's very manly man fragrance, okay? Definitely, you have to smell it. It's like very, very unique, okay? And colder months, this one has good performance. I heard in India, they used to use this Sikhi Obsession fragrance to trap tigresses, okay? Or tigers, rather, okay? That's an interesting story. Now, going to number four. I promised you I was going to show you my Defy line. I pick my favorite DeFi, that is the CK DeFi perfume or perfume. I reviewed this few days back and I missed out on one note. Okay, I did love EDP as much, uh, but it, the perfume was a little bit bigger in my uh, favorite list. Okay, this one has this again gourmand, sweet cacao sort of a smell. It's sweet and it goes with the modern fragrance like Dylan Blue meets uh, Stronger With You sort of kind of with a blue tinge. Okay it's beautiful it's a simple fragrance really long lasting six to seven hours on the best performers ck defy perfume definitely check that one out okay i move a little bit more so make more space so top three very simple fragrances yet my favorites number three is ck one shock for him i wish i really wish this uh atomizer i had uh, have is the silver color like this color that would mean it's a vintage used to last like eight hours but yeah CK1 shock for him. I get like decent three hours from it. One of the beautiful, most uh, sweet, fruity, uh, not pipe tobacco, but it's like a nice fruity tobacco note, right? I just love it. Everybody loves this fragrance, okay? CK1 shock for him is immortal, very affordable, and then 200 ml is very, very easy to acquire, and you can just absolutely use it all the time, all year round, okay? Number two, <clears throat> CK1 line. These are better, in my humble opinion, than CK1. It's called CK All. I was the one, the first, oh man, the guard is going to go crazy. Yeah, with his whistle. Okay, sorry about that. CK All, when it came out, I gave it Perfection 10, okay? It has this added musky, sort of like a more body to the original CK1, much more pleasant. I think it's a rhubarb note. Just a stunner, okay? All these fragrances that I'm showing you, I have plenty more than this, okay? If you see this high up in the order, it means something special, okay? CK All by Calvin Klein definitely check it out okay i don't want to drag it too much because the video is already long so i will talk about my number one any guesses you guys know my love for this fragrance is gonna be sick reveal for him i just don't know man i just love bragging about this fragrance a lot you know like <laughs> how do i put this sick reveal for him is the i mean in my journey 2016 when i sniffed this one when i sniffed uh, the other fragrance called uh, invictus by pakuraban and then Daniel's Icon, these three perfumes started my journey officially as a collector, okay? And I keep sniffing them. I love them as much as I love Chanel, Aliron, Sport, or Extreme. This one I love more than Ultra Male. And this is the same family as Ultra Male, something like, uh, you know, these clubbing fragrances. And I can tell you one thing, the cost-wise, this is the least costing, yet the longest lasting. In Bangladesh, thankfully, many people love this and they're collecting it as discontinued now. And the price have gone high 55 65 it's gonna go 100 plus dollars trust me before it goes collect a bottle you'll thank me later if you have a sweet tooth if you love brandy pear kind of like agave um, like flirtatious fragrance last about eight to ten hours ck reveal is that so number one today is my fragrances ck reveal for him so there you go 15 calvin Klein fragrances do let me know which ones are your favorites which one do you think i shouldn't have missed out on and must top five must have for you i would love to hear your thoughts and one last thing you know brands some of you may say hey it's a watch brand t-shirt brand it's a very basic brand i understand no problem no harm done right uh, you can love anything you know uh, regardless of its price tag because it's close to you i can get 15 of these fragrances for a price of one niche sometimes you know and that is 
bonkers. You know, uh, it's hard to believe that. But you can experience so many type of fragrances. That's what's great about Sike. Love house of, love the house of Sike, Calvin Klein. Pure respect for them and uh, try them. Okay, check out my reviews. That would be awesome. Take care. Have a nice day or good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. See you soon. Bye bye.